Hello, good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Wow. How was your day, guys? How was everything today? Tired. Tired? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, most of the time, right? Okay. So we're going to start with the things, uh, you know, like that we're going to be discussing for uh, tonight's topic. So just give me one second. I'm just loading, you know, like the presentation that we will be using on this uh, video conference. Okay, just give me one second. Okay, good. Uh, if you remember yesterday, uh, we were uh, discussing one very like kind of interesting and important topic, right? Which was affirmative statements using the simple present. If you remember, we were discussing, uh, you know, like affirmative negative statements in a somehow uh, we were practicing those things in into a conversation. We were doing a first and third person practice and uh, today we'll, we will continue with that specifically in the manual but before doing that i'm going to pass the attendance please so let's see how many people we got right now uh let's start uh well ellen nilsson present teacher. okay over oh, there nice alexandra michel present teacher okay excellent vania raquel present Okay, excellent. Let's move uh Christian Mauricio. Okay, he's not here. Uh Eduard Armando. Eduard Armando. Okay, it's not here. Let's move Eric Enrique. Eric Enrique. All right, it's not there. Uh, Eric Fernando. Okay, no there. Let's move. Jose Mauricio. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's move the next. Julissa Jamilet. Present. Okay, excellent. Carla Daniela. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Kelly Joanna. No. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move uh, Lea Berenice. Uh, Lea Berenice, is it here? Okay, no. All right, let's move. Uh, Liliana Alejandra. Present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Let's move Mario Eduardo. Mario Eduardo. Okay, no here. Marvin Edenilson. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Noé Vladimir. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, nice. Okay, let's continue. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay, nice. Veronica Lisset. Veronica Lisset. Okay, she's not here. Let's continue. We got Wilbert Ernesto. Wilber. Okay, it's not here. And we got the last one, Ana Patricia. Present teacher. I am in your Okay. Okay, perfect. Good people. So we're going to start 
let's go straight to the things that we got for tonight. As I said, we are going to continue talking about the uses of simple present, specifically in affirmative and negative statements, and uh, when using, you know, like in first person and third person. If you remember yesterday, let's take a look at this as a feedback. If you remember yesterday, we were working on a short conversation before we go to, you know, like from, from the class. If you remember, we stayed on page nine from the manual, and specifically this page. I'm going to project that right now. And specifically this page. If you remember, we were discussing this short conversation. We were practicing the conversation. Se recuerdan, estuvimos practicando esta pequeña conversación. Uh, you were like doing that on purse, okay? Uh, now, listen, what are we going to do related to this? Because we didn't finish the topic yesterday, okay? Entonces, como no terminamos parte del tema ayer, ahora vamos a terminar las páginas que nos quedaron pendientes en el manual, okay? That's what we are going to be doing. Okay, put aside this page. Uh, let's, 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 let's take a look at that one. Now, let's move to the page 10, specifically here, where it says work-related events. Let's go to that if you have, you know, like your manuals with you, if you have them in the computer, let's go and open them up in here, in this page, and look at this. We got a series of words in here that basically are verbs and a short complement, okay? Verbs and short complements. What it says in here, listen, it says, all two activities you do on a regular Monday. Look, yesterday, if you remember, we were discussing about the daily activities that you generally do, and you were providing some examples, okay? Now, if you take a look in there, you got, on Monday, I... And we got a series of activities. For example, check my email. You know what is check your email, right? So in that case, we're not going to stop that much in there because you know what check your email means in that case. Now, what is the second activity? Ruth, help me out reading. Ruth, are you there? Ah, read, read the, the, the number two, the activity. Ayúdeme a leer la, la, el, la actividad sí, número no, dos. No, no sé cómo se dice la primera palabra. Ah, okay, okay. It means type. Type. Type a letter. Okay, a type. Letter. Okay, a very letter. good. Letter. All right, very good. Type a letter. Uh, type significa escribir sobre la computadora, ¿ok? Digitar. That's basically the meaning. Type a letter, all right? Look at this. Number three. Write a report. Everybody knows that write a report means like escribir un reporte. Attend a meeting. I mean, asistir a una reunión. ¿Ok? We got another one called clients. Right? Llamar clientes. Read a report. You know what is that? Visit clients. Organize meetings. Ahora bien, agreguemos dos, más, dos actividades más acá. Okay, let's do that in here. What other activities can I include in here? Can you give me one, another example in here? For example, using number nine. What other activities can we do here? For example, I can say, uh, right. Do overtime. Okay. And I can put as number 10 here. Number 10. Uh, but let me see. Now write a report is already there. So I can say. Have. Lunch. I add. Have lunch. Okay, and I got my activities. Okay, and I got my activities there. So you can even include another ones in there if you want. Okay, 
acá pues igual podemos incluir dos actividad, actividades que nosotros normalmente hacemos para complementar esa serie de 10 espacios ahí, ¿ok? Good. What are we going to do with those activities that we do on a regular Monday? Look, esas actividades que tenemos ahí las vamos a traer acá. And here, the best one. Check this out. It says, complete the sentences below with one activities from the box. Okay, compare your answers with a partner, it says. Okay, look, an example. It says, I call clients every day. I use the company's cell phone. Bueno, acá básicamente lo que vamos a hacer es llenar estos espacios con una de esas frases que tenemos en cada una de las casillas. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer el número dos para que ustedes hagan los demás. ¿Ok? Listen up. It says, our secretary. Our secretary. Y luego dice, then she sends them via email. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que eh, quedaría mejor en esa oración para terminar de complementarlo? Check my email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, or organize meetings. Write, write reports. Write reports. Write a report. Ah, ok. Maybe. Or, or, type a letter. O type a letter. Ok, then she sends them via email, it says. Hmm. No, the check my email. Uh, check my email. The, sí, check my email es. Ah, uh, pero miren. Dice, vaya, our secretary, nuestra secretaria, luego hay un punto, y luego hay un pequeño complemento que dice, then she sends them via email, luego los envía a través de correo, o por email. Hmm. Sí, pues sí, read a report. Read a report. Ok, let's put it on one of those. Look at this, our secretary. Vamos a poner read. Aunque yo me inclinaría más por type. It can be another one. Suitable. Ok. Let's put, but let's put it read. Vamos a poner en plural. Ahí ves. ¿Por qué en plural? Porque acá luego dice, she sends them. Los envía. Ok. Vía email. So, en ese caso es más de uno. Entonces lo podemos dejar así, de esta manera. Ok. Dependiendo entonces del contexto que tengamos acá, ayúdenme a complementar los demás. Do number three, number four, number five, and number six. Twice a day. Okay. If you want, you can do it in your, you know, like in your uh, notebooks if you haven't printed those things. And then we're going to check them. Yeah, we're going to put it here. Okay. Try to do them and then let me know, okay, when you finish. En la número 6, ustedes tienen que escoger un, una, un verbo o una frase de una de las casillas y ustedes van a escribir su propio ejemplo, okay? So there you have to write down your own example. Okay, let's 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 do that. As long as you finish, just let me know, okay? Please let me know. Para los que recién se han conectado, entendemos los que vamos a hacer. Oh, is somebody have a question? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No, okay. Okay, let's do it.
If you have any question with those things, just let me know. Okay. Let me know when you finish. Okay, alguien terminó ya. Someone, someone finish. Did someone finish already? No, no, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go uh one by one trying to check what you have and let's see if you have them uh correctly or if you have them like you know like with sense in this case. Now, let's do number three. Let's do number three. It says, I, and it says twice a day, I use my laptop computer. So which one do you think is the right one in there to play? I think I type, type a letter. Type a letter? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. It makes sense because it says that it Check uses the laptop. Email. Or write an email. Okay, good. That's another one. That's another one too. Email. Okay, good. Entonces acá, si tienen tanto, no es una type a letter. All right. 
así como uh, let's check my email or you can use it both of them and it's still correct okay vamos a poner acá uno para efectos de let's put type a letter aunque igual puede ser como les digo check my email like someone of you got it okay now number four Ruth what do you have in number four I have to. I have to write report. Write. Okay, you got write every point here. Okay, very good. Write a report. Okay. Or you can you can even put in there um type a letter if you got it like in another way. Okay or even check my email okay that is optional the answer can be optional in that case good what about number five uh marvin organize meeting organize meetings okay acá podemos poner organize meeting okay another one otra que podemos poner Attend a meeting. Visit clients. I don't know. A uh, visiting or visit clients. In este caso, no tendría tanto tanto sentido porque luego dice el complemento. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Las reuniones toman o se dan en el auditorio. Entonces, básicamente ahí puede ser ya sea organized meetings o attend meetings, right? Organizar eh, reuniones o asistir a reuniones. Okay? It will be one of them. Good. Okay, and here, number six. Aquí si la número seis, pues todos tienen una diferente. Okay? Got everybody got one different. Let's see. Jose, can you read yours? Uh, no la hice esa, perdón. Ok, hágala. Hágala la voz, se lo voy a preguntar al final. Carla. Ok. I clean the sales room. I didn't listen, Carla. Can you read again? I clean the sales room. Ah, ok. There you go. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen. Eh... Bertha visit clients every Friday. Okay, very good. There you go. Uh, Ana Patricia. I write a report every day in the afternoon. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Leah. I do field trips on Saturday. Mm, okay, very good. Thank you. Noe. I call to players. I call to clients, okay. Uh, acceptable. Abel. I customer service every day. I customer service every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, pongámosle un verbo ahí. Pongámosle I work in customer service every day. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Nice. Alexandra. I make calls all day. Ok. Very good. Nice. Uh, Marvin. I brush my teeth every day. Ok. Okay, good. Bania? Bania, let's see yours. Hola, teacher. Ya la voy a hacer. Es que me había desconectado un ratito. Ahorita ya la hago. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Kelly? Are you there, Kelly? Uh, 
Kelly Joanna, are you there? Mm, I guess she's not there. All right, uh, Julissa. Uh, write report every day in the morning. No, okay, I write report every day in the morning. Good. Let me see. I think Liliana is still a siguiente today. Teacher, ya la hice. Veronica. Okay, Mauricio, go. I work call to new customers. I? I work in el, eh, no sé. I call to new customer. Oh, Creo okay. Sería. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I mean, that's the way. Good. Wilbur, read the last one, Wilbur. Solo una duda. No sé si es, teníamos que quedarla nosotros lo que estamos diciendo ya yeah, en that case es la última esa la tenía que hacer usted ya era libre mm -hmm. exactly okay uh, I go to the beach on vacation I go to the beach okay on vacation okay <laughs> good. next week man yeah eh, y tengo una consulta dicha Yes. En la oración 2, número 2, el verbo no tendría que llevar S. Read. Write that one. Give me one second. I'm going to check it. Ah, easier. Sí. Nice, man. We got a mess in here. Because it says is wrong to Hello? organize. We there need to add. Celia. Ah, nice. We just add the S. Okay, good. Perfect, people. Nice. Who's the last one, actually? Uh, Ruth. Yeah, I mean, Ruth is missing. Ruth, read yours. I have a meeting every Monday afternoon. Ah, okay, very good. I have a meeting every Monday afternoon. There you go. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, that was part of what we were practicing yesterday. Now, let's keep going with that. Just give me one second. I just need to erase this one and let's move out because we got some more things to continue doing. Okay, we're going to put apart that one and look. What do we got here? Look, in this case, people, in this case, we have a short conversation. But this short conversation is just related, okay, to third person or singular forms. If you remember yesterday, we were discussing about the third form of the verb. In that case, when we use he, she, it, all singular nouns, okay? So this is part of the practice from the one, uh, from the ones that we were doing yesterday, okay? So this is like just a short practice that we're going to, and like continue doing, okay? But now using third person, not first person. Okay, now let's start with that. Look at this. It says, listen to your teacher read the conversation then practice with a partner. Vamos a hacer esta pequeña conversación porque luego tenemos ya para finalizar al menos en esta sección, esta sección de gramática acá que igual ya estuvimos igual viendo un poco con la presentación que estuvimos haciendo y, y, y dando ejemplos ayer, ¿ok? Good. Look at this. This is a very short conversation between Sonia and Matt. And it's a Sonia. Let's read the conversation. And if you have any question with the vocabulary, do it at the end, ¿ok? It says, Sonia, what does Dominic do? Okay, what yes, does Dominic do? It says, Matt, well, she is a secretary. Well, she is a secretary. It says, Sonia, oh, I see. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? What does she do every day exactly? It's a smart. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see your point. Well, she pipes reports. Listen. Well, she types reports and sends 
emails every day. And sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. She is a hardworking woman. And it says, Sonia, absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? It says, Matt, yeah. She is the first person. Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. To arrive in the office. Good. So a nice short conversation. Do you have any questions with the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna pregunta en cuanto al vocabulario en esta pequeña conversación? Algo que no comprendamos o la pronunciación de alguna palabra? What the meaning? Hardworking. Hardworking. It means that you work like really hard. Hardworking, trabajadora. Okay? That you like what you do in your job. Okay? That's a hardworking woman. Okay. Okay. Nice. Something else? Okay. I think you got, you got that one. Okay. Good. Let me see. I want to practice that short conversation for a couple of minutes, but I do really want to know if these people from the cameras off are there. Let me see. I know that Veronica and Liana are not going to participate because they are as listeners. Uh, but let me see if I got it. Uh, Wilbur, are you there? Necesito estar seguro. Hello. Ah, okay, you're there. Good. Christian? Uh, Christian Gomez, are you there? Hello. Eh, voy entrando, no sé. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. No, solo quería saber si ahí estaba. Okay, no problem. Kelly, are you there, Kelly? Yeah, because Kelly last time didn't, didn't, didn't answer. Are you there, miss? Mm, okay, entonces sería Kelly, Verónica, and Liliana. Okay. No, teacher, I'm here. Are you there? And es que como aparece oyente, yo pensé sí. que era de las que me había dicho de que iba a estar ocupada. I mean, okay, you can participate right now. Right now, yeah. right? Okay, good. No matter. Okay, cool. What are we going to do? We're going to practice that short conversation. Son las 8.35, 8.40, volvemos. Okay, a la sesión principal. Ma create the breakout rooms in one second. Give me one second. I'm just going to organize this these people in here because there are some of them that are not going to participate. Okay, and this is okay, give me one second. That's number two. Ah, okay, good. I got them all. Okay, let's give accept the invitation to the breakout room. Let's practice that for four minutes and then we're going to come back in here, okay? Let's go to practice. All right, let's accept the invitation, please. A mí también. Ok. Eh, comparto pan. Hello. We can share 
my screen when well, I can't share my screen. You can't share my screen. Mi pantalla. Uh -huh. ¿La puede compartir? No, no puedo. <laughs> Ay, ¿y, eso? ¿Y eso? No lo sé. Por eso ah. le pregunto. Ah, no, no aparece la opción ahí. Pues debería. Ahorita voy a probar otra vez. Yeah. El anfitrión yeah. inhabilitó la función de compartir pantallas. Oh, no, entonces ya eso es, ya eso es, eh, está predeterminado. Y ahí sí ya tendría que ir a configuración, salirme, no those things. Uh, ¿Pero eres para la, la conversación? Sí. sí. Pero, es que raro porque dice one Pero no tengo acceso yo a la conversación. Bueno, a menos que minimice la pantalla. Uh -huh. Ah, me dio el mensaje. Yes. Sí, porque ahí sí. Yo no sé cómo hacía la Miss del curso 1, que siempre se le olvidaba, pero ahí mismo lo modificaba cuando se acordaba. A ver. Hágalo ahora. Ay, sí, sí puedo. Yeah, ahí llegó. Okay. Thank you. Ok. Thank you. Ahí llegó. Let's go then. Ok. Eso. No, sí. Sí. Sería, Mara. sí. Sonia y Matt. Teacher, ya que está por ahí. Yes. Una pregunta. En la parte de Sonia, en la penúltima, la última parte de Sonia, ¿cómo se pronuncia? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that Absol one? Absolutely. Does she yeah. arrive early? It says. Absolutely. Yeah. Así. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Y la arribar o llegar? Uh, arrive. Arrive. Yeah, arrive. Arrive. Early. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Is a uh, Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types repel and send email. Every day she is a hardworking woman. Uh, aquí no, esta es la... Hay que esperar. Si quieres empiezo yo otra vez ahí. ¿eh? I report a uh, email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Hi teacher. Hi man. Hi teacher. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolute, absolutely does she arrive early. Okay. Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Arrive in the office. Okay. Estamos okay, estamos okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bueno, Vaya. ahí con el, con el teacher de nuevo. Okay. Vaya viceversa ahora. Ok. What does Dominic do? Well, well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see what does she do every day exactly. Estamos ok, teacher. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see your point. Well, She takes report and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Um, absolutely. No, I equivoqué. Okay. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Sí, me cuesta pronunciarlo. Absolutely. Does she already early? 
Hi, Evelyn. Yeah, yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. Very good. There you go. <laughs> good, good, good. Now, let's go back because it's time, okay? Good. Okay. So you have practice enough, okay? Let's see you there. Let's go, yeah, okay? All right, so everybody's coming back. Uh, now I'm gonna start with the first one that appears in my screen. Carla, you're the first one. Who were you practicing with? With Mau. Mauricio. Mauricio. Okay, good. I'm, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna project the presentation, I mean the, the, the manual, and I want you to start, okay? Let's go. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is is secretary oh i see what does she do every day exactly oh i see your point well she types reports and sends emails every day she is a hardworking woman absolutely does she arrive early yeah she is the fifth person to write in the office. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, Carla and uh, Jose. You did it excellent. Now, let me see who's the next. Alexandra. You're next, Alexandra. Who were you practicing with? Um, no recuerdo el nombre del chico. <laughs> okay, who no was... Who, Soy who was, recordando nombres. Who was with Alexandra? Hola. What, wasn't it Wilbur? Wilbur, it was you? Creo yes, que sí. Yes, Lo siento. <laughs> Sorry, Wilbur. Yeah, she didn't recognize you. Okay, okay. let's start. Let's, let's go. Okay. Este, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. While she types reports and sends emails every day, she is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. All right, to arrive in the Una office. Una consulta, teacher. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Una consulta, teacher. En esa, en, antes de, de que Matt se de, diga, yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the oración de Sonia, ¿cómo se pronuncia la última palabra? Early. Early, así. Yes. Y, yes. bueno, puedes repetir la oración, por favor, que tampoco tengo duda también cómo se pronuncia la primera palabra. Ok, it says, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Ok, gracias. Ok, good. So, thank you, Alexandra and uh, Wilbur. Now, Rosa, who were you practicing with, Rosa? Liliana. Okay, good. Let's start. Okay, uh, inicio yo? Sí, sí. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see what does she do every day, exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hard worker hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive, right. arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rosa and Liliana. Okay, okay. good. Now, let's move to the next one. Noe, who were you practicing with? Okay, con Ruth. Okay, let's go. What does Dominic do? 
Will, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Will, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Ruth and Noe. Now, oh, let me see. Anna, did you participate already? All right. Are you having? Con Eric. Are you okay? Good. Let's go. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your points. Well, she takes report and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. Absolutely. 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 Uh, Absolutely, does okay. she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Right in the office, okay, good. Thank you, Eric and Anna, you did it excellent. Let me see who's next. Uh, Leah, did you participate already? Uh, Christian. All right, we're practicing with Christian versus I am in Tibet. Okay, let's go. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see you pay point well. She types reports and second emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Arrive in the office. Good. Thank you, Lea and Christian. You did an excellent. Let me see who's next. Abel. Okay, teacher. With Marvin. Ah, you were with Marvin. Ah, you were with Okay, go. Where is Marvin? Dale, Mar I, I am in. It's there. Okay, go, man. Get okay. out, Damien. Well, she is as a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types report and send email every day. She is a working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, excellent. There you go. Thank you, Abel and Marvin. Now, who's next? You see, Lea has already participated. Alexander also. Yavani yeah, has already participated. Julissa, did you participate already? Yeah. Okay, who were you practicing with, Julissa? Uh, con, con Ke Kelly. With Kelly. Yes. Hello. I am finally Kelly. Yeah, man. I, I, I thought you were not there. All right. <laughs> eh, solo con Kelly estaba yo, Lisa. Y con no sé cómo se llama la otra niña. Yo. Creo si no me equivoco. Vania. Con Vania. 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 Okay. Let's do something. Look. Let's do a circle. Vania. 
you will practice with Julissa. Then when you finish, Julissa, you will practice with Kellen. Okay? That's the way how okay. we're going to do it. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Yo. Yo, Vania. Okay. Uh, what does Dominic do? Sigo yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see you. I see your point. Well, she type reports and send emails every day. She is a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, okay. very good. Now, Julissa, help me out with Kelly. Okay. Okay. What, what? Uh, in this case, uh, Julissa is going to start and you follow up the conversation, Kelly. Para que no lea la misma, Julissa. Okay. Okay, let's go. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Kelly, Julissa, and Vania. All right, to you three. Okay, good. Thank you, people, for that. Now, what are we going to do, people? Listen up. Part of this is basically what we were doing yesterday, okay? Prácticamente parte de ello es lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer, so we're not going to stop that much in that case. Good, because I need to move on to the next page, okay? To the next uh, topic related to that. So I'm going to present the presentation that I got for today uh, related to the, you know, like the topic that we are going to be discussing from now on. So just give me one second. I'm going to project it for you. So it's going to be this one. Check this out, people. Okay, so today, July the 26th from 2022, uh, the topic that we're going to have is, listen up, time expressions for regular activities. Okay, this is the topic that we're going to be discussing for the rest of the class. So this is going to be like, you know, like the main topic, okay? Time expression. When it comes to time expression, the word time expression, cuando han escuchado esta oración, o básicamente esta frase, ¿a qué creen ustedes que nos referimos? ¿Qué es una time expression for you? Como semanalmente. Weekly. Oh, okay, okay, good. So basically, a time expression is kind of like that. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más pueden eh, imaginar ustedes cuando escuchan esa expresión? Time expression. ¿Alguna ¿Tiempo? actividad agendada? Algo agendado, ok. ¿Rosa? ¿Decía algo, Rosa? Eh, tiempo. Ah, ok, tiempo. Bueno, como su frase lo dice, su, su nombre lo dice, time expression. Son más que todo expresiones de tiempo que indican tiempo. Un ejemplo de ello, lo que Carla dijo, weekly. I mean, that's a time expression. Esa es una expresión de tiempo. ¿Ok? Bueno, ya vamos a ver un poco más sobre cada una de esas time expressions que comúnmente nosotros podemos utilizar para mencionar con qué regularidad hacemos una actividad. ¿Ok? What is the class agenda for the rest of the class? Check this out. We got the review from the previous class. Es algo que acabamos de terminar. 
este que básicamente es parte de, de un repaso ¿verdad? de la clase anterior. We're gonna work in the manual, we were doing that, pues ya lo estuvimos haciendo parte de ello. Uh, we're gonna now introduce the time expression. We're gonna provide some examples, and after that, we're gonna practice some question forms, okay? And at the end, we will work in the manual again, but now with the topic from tonight. Good, so that's the most relevant for the rest of this class. Now, let's go there. Time expressions. Take this out. Uh, Alexandra, help me out reading that, please. We use time expression to mention how frank, how, freaking, how, frequent, frequent, how frequently, repeat please. Okay, how frequently, frequent, no, es I, E, Y, verdad? Yeah, listen, listen. Free, uh -huh. Frequently. 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 Yes. We do an activity. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right, we use the time expression to mention how frequently we do one activity, right? Con qué regularidad. Entonces nosotros hacemos una actividad. We got one example in here. All right. Noe, help me out reading the example. Okay. I play the piano every day. Ok, good. I play the piano every day. Si ven la parte enmarcada y en negrita, like every day, ya esa sería la time expression. Ok, good. Why? Porque básicamente me está diciendo con qué regularidad yo hago esa actividad. Ok, so that's why that time expression is going there. Another example. Let's take a look at that. Jose, tell me a reading. You hit a chicken with willing. Weekly. Weekly. Okay, there you go. You eat chicken weekly. Ah, aquí está la time expression que mencionaba Carla anteriormente, right? So what is weekly? Semanalmente. Okay, there you go. Right, you eat chicken, chicken weekly. So, ah, me tú comes pollo semanalmente, right? So that's the frequency of that activity during the week. It means that you do that very regularly. Okay. Another example. Take a look at that, Eric. Help me reading. Eric, you got the the microphone off. <clears throat> with send report once a week. Okay, once a week. Okay, once. A week. Once week. Once oh. a week. There you go. Thank you, Eric. It says with send reports once a week. <clears throat> what is once a week? ¿Qué significa una eso? Una vez por semana. Okay. There you go. Once a week significa una vez a la semana. Okay. Very good. So we got those uh, time expressions as the ones that are very, very common in simple present statements. Okay, good. Now, let's take a look at some of those time expressions. Check this out. We got another one in here. Uh, Leah, help me on reading this one, please. They finish the work every afternoon. Okay, there you go. Every afternoon. That's the time expression in that case. Okay, good. Algo que sí me gustaría que tomen en cuenta es, eh, al igual que los ejemplos que tenemos acá, las time expressions o suelen ir al principio de la oración o suelen ir al final de ella. Nunca una time expression va a ir en medio de la oración. Okay, never. Generally, they go at the end, right? Entonces, por lo general, siempre va al final de la oración. Let's remember that, okay? Las time expressions o van al principio o van al final, pero nunca en medio. Okay, good. Now, 
let's continue. Okay, let's say common time expressions in simple present. Pues vamos a ver las expresiones de tiempo, pues, más comunes, por así decirlas, utilizadas en el presente simple. Recordemos que dependiendo del, del tiempo verbal que estemos hablando, así es la time expression que podemos utilizar. Estas son las más comunes en el presente simple. Check that out. When it starts with every. So you can say. Every day, todos los días, right? Every month, todos los meses. Every week, ah, right, todas las semanas. Every year, todos los años, o cada año. But that one, remember, en ese caso, pues, every va con cada una de esas palabras. And then we got the short form. Daily, what is daily? Diario. 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 There you go. Entonces, daily es básicamente lo mismo como si yo dijese every day. Ok. Remember that. Then we got month, uh, weekly. In that case, weekly. Weekly means semanalmente. Ok. And then you got monthly. Right. Monthly, it might be mensualmente. Ok. So you got it there. Now, let's move the next one. These ones, these ones are a little bit different. Look, estos en realidad no son time expressions. Estos son adverbios de frecuencia, o comúnmente llamados en inglés, frequency adverbs. Okay. ¿Pero por qué están incluidos acá? Pues básicamente muestran con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad. Okay, so that's why I included them in there. Okay, what is the use in the case? You got always. Remember, always means siempre. Sometimes. What about sometimes? ¿Qué significa sometimes? A veces. A veces. A veces. A veces. A veces. Okay, good. Never? Nunca. Nunca. No, okay, good. Frequently? Frecuentemente. Frecuentemente. Ok, very good. Frecuentemente. And rarely. Raramente. Rara vez. Ay, yeah, man, raramente. Rara, rara vez. Ok, o raras veces. Ok, that's the way. Good. En este caso, listen. En este caso, este tipo de expresiones que básicamente son frequency adverbs van en otra posición, ya no es la misma posición que en las time expressions. Estas por lo general suelen ir entre el sujeto, el subject y el verbo. Van en medio. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo así? Vamos a hacer un ejemplo acá. Y eh, más adelante igual vamos a crear otros. Vamos a usar always. Look. En este caso yo puedo decir I always have lunch. I always, vamos a poner otro, I never, uh, what? Mm, a very rare activity, I never drink sodas, por ejemplo. Look. Entonces, esa es la posición. Alcohol. Ah, ya, mi. Casa, no. Ya, mi. Alcohol. Ya, never ever. So, let's see. I never drink alcohol. Ah, si ven la posición de la del frequency word, básicamente está entre, entre el subject y el verbo. ¿Ok? So, esa es la posición que adopta. Ya las demás van al final o al principio. Okay, remember that. There you go. Good, hasta acá. Vamos bien? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Do you guys have any question? El have es tener, ¿verdad? Exactly, pero en ese caso, have, di uh, have breakfast, have dinner, or have uh, lunch, en ese caso es desayunar, almorzar y cenar. Okay, es una palabra, una frase compuesta. Oh. 
have lunch, en ese caso es almorzar, ¿ok? I always have lunch. Ah, siempre almuerzo. That's what it means. Pero solo el have es tener. Solo el have, solo el have, yes. Significa ah. tener. Exactly. Bueno, ok. Ok, good. Now, let's continue. Ah, we got this one. Look, once a week, okay, once a month, or once a year, right? Remember, once, in este caso, significa una vez, okay? Once a week, una vez a la semana, once a month, una vez al mes, or once a year, una vez al año. Al año. There you go. Ah, man, we got another one. Twice a week, I mean, twice a day, twice a week, twice a month, and twice a year. All right, in that case, it significa twice. Dos veces. Dos veces, there you go. Okay, good, dos veces. Puede ser twice a week, dos veces a la semana, twice a month, dos veces al año, or twice a year. Right, so in that case, dos veces al año. All right, so that depends on what, uh, how frequent you do an activity. All right, people, until here, do you have any question? Hasta acá tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta? Con estas time expressions. Donde dice every day month uh -huh. y daily week monthly y ahí están diferentes tiempos el month es que vaya every every month cada mes ajá uh -huh. okay y monthly mensualmente uh -huh. básicamente es lo mismo solo que con diferentes palabras okay sí there you go That's what it is. Okay. Si el otro, en, en, en el ejemplo anterior, yo lo, había, yo lo había entendido que era I, I always have lunch. Yo siempre tengo almuerzo. Ajá, uh -huh. No, no, sería yo siempre almuerzo. Ok. Ah, okay. That's what it is. There you go. Good. Ok, if you don't have any other question, listen up. I'm going to stop sharing right now. Voy a dejar de compartir por unos segundos y voy a pasar a la segunda asistencia, ¿ok? Because it's time. Just give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to move. All right, let's start. Abel Edenilson. Present, teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Alexandra Michel. Present, teacher. Ok, Vania Raquel. Present. Ok, excelente. Cristian Mauricio. Present. Ok, nice. Eduard Armando. Eduard Armando. Ok, he's not here. Let's move. Eric Enrique. Present teacher. Ah, ok, very good. Let's move. Eric Fernando. Okay. It's not here. Jose Mauricio. Present. Okay, good. Julissa Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. Carla Daniela. Present. Okay, excellent. Kelly Joanna. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Lea Berenice. Present, teacher. Okay, Present. very good. Uh, Liliana Alejandra. Present, teacher. Okay, there you go. Mario Eduardo. Present, teacher. Now, okay, good. You got there. Uh, let's move Marvin Edenilson. Present. Okay, excellent. 
no he Vladimir. Present. Ok, nice. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ok, perfect. Ruth Guadalupe. Ok, excellent. Verónica Lisset. Verónica. All right, so there's an answer. Uh, Wilber Ernesto. Present. Okay, very good. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Monse. Okay, good. Now, let me see. Okay, people, let's continue. Give me one second. I'm going to forget where we stayed. All right, basically, we got it here. Entonces, estamos acá. Let's continue. Okay, now, let's provide a couple of examples. Vamos a leer algunos ejemplos ya poniendo estas tan expresas en contexto. Let's start over. Uh, let me see. Someone that has not participated that much tonight. Yulisa, help me out reading. Boy. Mario plays soccer weekly. Okay, very good. Abel. They they go to the supermarket three times a week, mom dear. Okay, two times okay, a week. Okay, two times a week. Say it, uh, three times a month or even three times a year. Por eso está así, okay? Because okay. you can take the place in that case depending on the regularity of the activity. Next, Rosa. Uh, we go abroad uh -huh. once a year. Okay. We go abroad once a month. We once go abroad once a week. Once a week. Okay, there you go. All right. We go abroad once a year. Ah, vamos al extranjero una vez al año, right? Go abroad significa ir al extranjero. Okay? Ir a otro país. De manera general. That's go abroad. All right, we go abroad once a month. Vamos al extranjero una vez al mes. Or we go abroad once, uh, like, a week. Una vez a la semana. There you go. So we got those, those ones. Okay, let's move to the next one. Christian, help me out, Christian. <clears throat> Christian? Hello. Okay, I think Christian is sleeping or something like that. Uh -huh. Let me see. Kelly, help me out reading, Kelly. Kelly, are you there? Hello. Okay, apparently she's not there either. So, Bania, help me out reading, Bania. She takes a shower every day. Okay, she takes a shower every day. Okay, there you go. Okay, if you take a look in there, then there's another time expression besides every day. You can say daily. And this is still correct, okay? It's even still correct. There you go. Now, let's look at the next one. Uh, Did you say something, Ruth? 
cuando dice uh, every day, pero cuando es daily, eh, every daily o solo daily? No, no, in that case, every day or daily, daily. Okay. okay. Yes, okay. yes. If you take a look in the, in the prior examples, si bien los ejemplos anteriores, igual estaban separados. Por eso mismo, ok. Every day is like todos los días o cada día. Daily is like diariamente, ok. No podemos decir en ese caso every daily. Because it doesn't make sense. No tiene mucho sentido, ok. Ok, good. Let's continue. So you get, I pay my bills every month o monthly, ok. No es, I pay my bills every monthly. Okay? It doesn't make sense. Good. So that's pretty much the examples that we got in here. Let's look at the last one. Uh, Anna. He study math. Math? Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes, math. math. He studies. Bueno, pero este es, es studies, teacher. It's studies, yes. He studies math. Twice a week. Okay, yes. That's the way. There you go. Thank you, Anna. All right. Did you get that one? Okay, good. Now, let's move out. Now, time expressions with frequency adverbs. Bueno, antes de pasar a estos frequency adverbs, o mejor después vamos a hacer. Me gustaría que vean cómo es el resultado de las oraciones ya usando adverbios de frecuencia. Ok, check this out. Entonces acá, ya como estos son adverbios de frecuencia, por lo general van entre el subject y el verbo, en este caso principal. Ok, as I said before. So, let's read that those ones. Noé, help me read in this example. I sometimes eat in the restaurant. Okay, very good. I sometimes eat in a restaurant. Good. Check this out. This is another one. Very similar to that one. Edward, tell me a reading. Edward, are you there? You never... Go to the beach. Ah, okay. Good. You never go to the beach. There you go. The next one. Let me see, Carla. He frequently plays soccer. Okay, very good. Take this one. All right, this is a little bit different. Let me see who can help me out with that. Anna, tell me a reading, Anna. Anna, are you there? Anna Patricia? Anna Patricia, are you there? Well, I think these people went to sleep or something like that. I'm sorry, teacher. I got to the bathroom. <laughs> Man, I thought I thought you were like like sleeping or something. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, good, Anna. No problem. Okay, he, he he rarely cooks the breakfast. Okay, thank you. He rarely cooks the breakfast. Right? El raramente cocina. El desayuno. That's what it says there, okay? That's what it means. Now, let's move on to the next one. Look at this. Wilbur, tell me a reading, please. We generally watch TV at night. Okay, good. We generally watch TV at night, right? Generalmente eh, vemos televisión en la noche. That's what it says. Entonces, recuerden, las frequency words... Ok, los ver adverbios de frecuencia, en este caso las palabras de frecuencia, por lo general siempre van a tomar esta posición, ok. Siempre, al principio, entre, entre el sujeto y el verbo principal. Esa es la posición que tiene que llevar, ok. Ya para el resto de las time expressions que estuvimos viendo anteriormente, 
siempre van al final por lo general. ¿Ok? Por lo general casi siempre son al final. Ok. Good. Now, let's continue. Vamos a ver algunas formas de preguntas. Question points. Check this out. It says, how many times a day, week, month, or year do you go to the beach? Vaya. Para preguntar con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos una actividad, por lo general tenemos dos modelos de pregunta. Este es uno de ellos. Listen up. En ese caso estamos preguntando sobre la cantidad de veces que nosotros solemos hacer una actividad, all right? O que otra persona suele hacer una actividad. Example, how many times a day? ¿A qué me refiero con how many times a day? I mean, ¿cuántas veces al día? How many times a week? ¿Cuántas veces a la, a la semana? How many times a month? Right, ¿cuántas veces al mes? O how many times a year? Like, ¿cuántas veces al año? Okay? Do you go to the beach? Vas a la playa. Okay, so the possible answer to that question can be like this. Look, I go to the beach, y pues acá nosotros tenemos una gran variedad de posibles respuestas. Look, I go to the beach three times a day, three times a week, three times a month, or okay. okay. Interesting the conversation, right? Eh? So you see, por eso les digo, a veces es bueno tener el micrófono apagado. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with that. Listen up. So. As I said before, I can I can say I go to the beach two times a day, two times a week, a month, or even a year, okay? That happens with questions with how many times. Ahora bien, este es el segundo modelo de pregunta ya para hacer o preguntar sobre qué o cuánto es la frecuencia en que nosotros hacemos una actividad. Look at that. How often do you cook meat? Ah, ¿qué tan a menudo? All right, cocinas carne. Okay, so you got the possible answer like this. I cook meat weekly. Right? Ah, cocino carne semanalmente, right? Weekly. O, I sometimes cook meat. A veces. Okay? A veces cocino carne. Okay, so this is the possible form, okay? This is the possible way. How we can do it. Esa es la forma en cómo posiblemente nosotros podemos eh, desarrollar estas, este tipo de preguntas. Okay. Good. Now, let's start a short practice using that. Listen. Vamos a comenzar una pequeña pregunta. Igual, usando how many times. Quiero que ustedes me tomen una expresión de esas. Okay. Ya sea a day, a week, a month, a year. Y me elaboren una pregunta. Solamente la pregunta, no respuesta. ¿Ok? Usando how many times. Cuando la tengan, me la hacen saber. Hagámosla en primera persona, ¿ok? How many times a day, how many times a week, a month, a year, do you? Y luego me colocan el verbo de su preferencia dependiendo de la actividad que van a preguntar, ¿ok? Let's go. And let me know when you finish. I'm going to stop this part because we no longer need it. Como era how many? How many times? How many times? Yes. Let me know when you finish, okay? Let's see if I've terminated. Okay. Only one question without answering. 
solo una pregunta, no me lo escriban respuesta. Entonces, ya. Yeah. Ok, perfecto. Finish, teacher. Ok, there you go. Finish. Ok, very good. Finish. Ok, excelente. We're gonna wait for the other one. So vamos a esperar a los demás que terminen. Finish. Ok, perfecto. Finished. Ok, excelente. I finished. Perfecto. Finished, Tisha. Ok, alright. So, almost everybody has already finished. Básicamente casi todos ya terminamos. Bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Listen up. En esa pregunta que tenemos ahí, la vamos a leer y el siguiente compañero tiene que prestar atención porque al compañero que yo mencioné, ese compañero va a responder esa respuesta. ¿Ok? I mean, a esa pregunta. Usando una time expression de las que tenemos previamente ya escritas en el cuaderno. ¿Ok? There you go. Vamos a comenzar. A, let me see who's going to be the first one. Huh. Jose. I'm going to start with Jose. Hey, Jose. Read the question that you have and Ruth is going to answer that question. Uh, what money time at which uh, do you go to dance club? <laughs> uh, okay. No what? How many? Okay. How many? How many? Continue, continue. How many? Repeat, please. <laughs> yeah. How many times a week do you go to dance club? Ok, en ese caso Ruth lo va, lo va a responder con una cantidad, ok. Puede ser one, two, three, four, five, all right. One specific quantity. Sola, solamente la, eh, la cantidad o tengo que... No, o sea, o sea, la cantidad va a ir incluida, ok. Ok, ok. Ahí. okay. I go to... The dance no. club. I go to dance club zero. <laughs> ok. Zero <laughs> times. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 let's finish, let's finish it. Zero times a week. Zero times a week. Okay, hay otra manera de poder responder a esa pregunta. Never. Okay, exactly, usando <laughs> un frequency word. Okay. I, I never, I never go, I never go to a dance club. Okay, I never go to, to a dance club. To dance club. No. Ok, good. Debo suponer que José precisamente no era para él en la pregunta. Sorry, no, sorry. Exactly. Ok, good. Now, Ruth, I want you to read your question and Eric is going to answer that question. Ok. How many times a week do you go to the supermarket? Ok, good. Me la puede repetir más despacio. Ok. <laughs> How many times a week do you go to the supermarket? Good. How many times a week do you go to the supermarket? ¿Cuántas veces voy al supermercado? A la semana. Yes. Semana. ¿Cuántas veces a la semana? Recuerden. Ahí después del how many times ustedes, ustedes son libres de escoger qué poner. How many times a week, a month, a year. Ok. Good. Eric. Um, 
a Jars. <ríe> casi nunca voy al supermercado. <ríe> ¿Cómo se dice casi nunca? Uh... Eric. Lo perdimos a Eric. Out. Creo saber por qué lo perdimos. Es que acaba, acaba, acabamos de presentar un bajón de electricidad y milagrosamente a mí no se me fue la, no, no, no se me fue la señal porque lo tengo desde el celular. Pero como estamos casi, casi en la misma área de San Miguel, ah, a él sí se le fue la señal. Ok, bueno, espero que se pueda restablecer. Pues no pronto. salió huyendo. Ya, al menos hoy no fui yo. No, no al menos. Ok, al menos no fui yo. Yo pensé que porque no sabía las respuestas. Había ido. <risa> no, no, yo pensé lo mismo, pero ya me acordé que él me dijo que era igual de la misma área acá en San Miguel. Así que yo sí te acá... le ayudó quitándole la, la electricidad. <risa> Así que acá está lloviendo bastante fuerte ya, entonces posiblemente eso haya sido. Ok, good. Now, uh, yeah, vamos a ver cómo vas a hacer. Ok, Lea. Lea, are you there? Yes, thank you. Cool, Lea. Good. Now, I want you to read your question, Lea. Quiero que lea su pregunta. Hey, permítame, oh, permítame, permítame. Ah, ahora que lo recuerdo. El compañero no la, no la terminó de responder. Lea, me va a responder primero la pregunta de Ruth, ¿ok? okay. Antes de leer la suya. Ruth, okay. repeat the question, Ruth. Ok, teacher. Eh, how many times, perdón, Lea, how many times a week do you go to the supermarket? Ok. I go to the supermarket one. The weekend. Okay. We we'll say one, one time or once once a week. Once a week. Okay, good. I go to the supermarket once a week. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ruth, for the question. Now, Lea, read the question and Noe Vladimir is going to answer, okay? Pay attention. Okay. How many times? I I to you try. Okay. <laughs> she said, "How many times a year do you drive?" Do you drive? I never drive. <laughs> okay. You okay. never drive. Huh? Okay. Do you use the bus instead? Okay. No. Thank you, Lea, for the question. Now, Noe, read your question, Noe, and let me see who's next. Alexandra is going to answer. Okay. Uh, how many times a day drink water? Do you drink? Do you drink water? Very good. Alexandra. Eh, Todo el día. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Ah? Todo el día. Agua Amona. por agua preguntó, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas yeah. veces tomo agua? Exactly. Um, son dos litros al día que tomo. ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? Ah, no, pero es que ahí son las, las veces en las que ha tomado esos dos litros, ¿ok? ¿En cuánto um, tiempo? ¿Cuántas veces? se toma, eh, ese, ¿en cuánto tiempo se toma esos dos litros? En el día, en todo el día. Sí, yes, pero tienen que ser, ¿qué? Cinco, diez veces, ocho, nueve. Ocho, ocho veces al día. Ok, say that in English. Mm, in... ¿Cómo sería todo el día? Every day. Uh, the whole day. Hola. The whole day. Ahí se lo escribí el, a, en mensaje en Zoom. The whole day. Todo el día. Mm, Erin, the whole day. No, er, no, Eric. No sé cómo se llama el compañero. No, es Vladimir. 
No hay. Ah, pero vaya, mire, la respuesta podría ser, Alexandra, para ser más específicos. I uh -huh. drink, I drink water eight times, uh -huh. eight times the whole day. Ocho veces todo el día. Ok. Ok. I drink eight in the... Eight times. Well, in ta Perdón. Eight times. Eight times. The whole, the, day. Whole day. the whole yeah. day. Very good. That would be right. Ah, ocho veces todo el día. There you go. Good. Thank you, Noé. Now, Alexandra, read your question, and Ana Patricia is going to answer. Uh, how long my how many time week do you see your friends? Okay. How many times a week? Do you see your friends? I, I see you, my friends. I see wow. my friends. Uh -huh. I see, I see my friends and once a week. Okay, once a week. There you go. Thank you, Alexander, for the question. Now, Anna. Read yours and uh, next. Rosa is going to answer. Okay. Uh, Rosa, how many times a week do you clean the house? Okay, very good. Good question. I clean the house every day. Oh. Are you sure, Rosa? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, Anna. Now, Rosa, read your question. And uh, Ruth has already participated. Abel is going to answer. Abel, how many times a year do you pay shoes? Mm. Um, every month, six months. How many times a year? What's the question, right? Yeah. Okay. I pay, all right, the shoes every mm -hmm. six I, I pay every shoes and six months. Every six months. Okay, a los six meses. Mm -hmm. Okay, acceptable. There you go. Thank you, Rosa. Now, Abel, read yours, and Carla is going to answer. Okay. Carla, how many times a week do you go to the gym? <laughs> I never go to the gym. Look at, look at her face, and the question is like, nah, nah never. <laughs> never. And I had the same question. So I'm going to change it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Carla. Okay, Abel, thank you for the question. Now, Carla, re reformulate the question, Carla, and ask, and ask that one to Edward. Okay. Edward, how many times a month do you go to the mall? Edward? Edward, are you there? <laughs> Edward, are you alive? Edward, wake up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe he's I mean, sleeping. Okay, good. A ver, los que están, los que están en la clase y tienen la cámara apagada y no están de oyentes, podrían por favor encenderlas. Vamos a ver. Si están dormidos, no las enciendan porque dormidos no van a escuchar. Yes. <risa> Al menos, pues sí, vamos a ver, necesito ver. Sí, porque, o sea, bueno. eh, es, que, es que a veces es, es, es incómodo. Te van a delatar. Es incómodo estar hablando y como que, así como que me estoy hablando yo mismo. No, no, no. No es funny. Es <risa> no divertido. Ok. Good. Ah, you got this one. Eso significa que los demás are sleeping. Ah, ah no, ya. Yeah. Yeah. No, teacher. 
Lo que pasa, <risa> bueno, en mi caso, yo desde el módulo pasado, lo que pasa es que la cámara la tengo en el teléfono y se me ha arruinado, entonces todavía no lo he mandado a arreglar. <risa> y ahorita estoy desde la compu del trabajo y no tiene pues cámara. Por eso, pero ya había reportado eso. Ah, va, va, está bueno. Ahí está. Okay. Perdonada. <risa> ok, good, good. All right, no problem with that. Cool. Ok, Carla, let's reformulate the question. Edward, are you there? Vamos a ver si está Edward. Mm, creo que no. Ok, Wilbur, are you there? Tampoco. Ok, ask that question to Marvin. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with Marvin. Marvin, how many times a month do you go to the mall? Mm, okay, good. I seldom go to the mall. Mm, okay, good, good. Thank you, mm -hmm. Carla. Now, Marvin, read your question and Liliana is going to answer. Okay, Liliana. How many times a year do you go to the dentist? Sorry, repeat please. Ah, uh, Marvin, you got the microphone off. <laughs> Okay, how many times a year you go to the dentist? You go to? No, I don't dentist. know. The dentist. Ah, the dentist. Okay. okay. Maybe um, almost like every month. Every month? Yeah. So you go to the dentist every month? Yeah. Ah, okay. You got braces? Oh. Okay. I told you had braces, so that's why you 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 go to the to the dentist every month. All right. Well, that's anyways. That's cool. Cool. All right. Thank you, Marvin. Now, Liliana, read your question, and Vania is going to answer. Okay. Ivania. Uh, Ivania. No, Vania. Vania, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. Vania, uh, how many do you visit your parents? Uh how many times? Do you visit your parents? Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, again. Okay. Vania, how many times do you visit your parents? Very good. Once a week. Okay. I visit my parents. I visit my parents once a week. Okay, very good. Once a week. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Liliana. Now, Mania, I want um, you to ask that question to Julisa. Okay. Julisa. Hola. How how many times a week do you go to the cinema? Okay. I go to cinema once a week. Once a week. Okay. Once a week. Once a week. There you go. Thank you, Vanya, for the question. Now, Julisa, read your question. And uh, let me see who's next. Christian, are you there? Okay. Christian, how many times a week do you clean your house? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting question. <laughs> Este... <risa> Sorry, man. Me cacho. Este... Be honest, man. Every year. <risa> okay. What? Yeah, but I clean my house. Every year. I clean my house every year. Or oh, one time a year, or oh, once a year. Okay, good. Interesting. Interesting. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you, you like cleaning the house. Perfect. <laughs> now, Christian, read, your, <laughs> read the question that you have. And uh, Wilbur, are you there? Let me see. I'm going to check if Wilbur is there. Wilbur, are you sleeping? Are you there? Hola, hola. Ah, no, he's there. Good. Christian, read the question and Wilbur <laughs> is going to answer. How many times do you play soccer? Okay. Uh, I never play soccer. Okay, you never play soccer. Good. All right, thank you, Christian. Now, Wilbur, read the question that you have, and Mario is going to answer. Mario, are you there? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, Mario, how many times a uh, week do you play the guitar? Uh, I play the guitar um, once a week. Once a week. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Wilbert. Now, Mario, read your question. And Eric, I am in his back, Eric. Eric is going to answer. <laughs> okay, yeah. Eric. Uh, how many times a week do you go to the church? Mm, okay. <laughs> Be honestly. <laughs> yeah, man, he doesn't go to church. <laughs> no, only <it's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Solo cuando hay quinceañera, dice, o Never. una boda. <laughs> o ni ah. así. O cuando lo buscan de padrino de bautizo. Right. Eric. No sé la respuesta. O sea, en inglés. Okay. Uh, tell, tell, tell it in Spanish and I will translate it to English. Vale. Y él en español y yo le voy a ayudar. No problem. Él le estaba preguntando que cada cuánto voy a, a bodas a 15 años. Eso. No, 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 no. Mario, 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 repeat the question. Ok. How many times a week do you go to the church? The church. You know what is church and Eric? Church means iglesia. ¿no? Iglesia. iglesia. ¿Cuántas cada veces? Cuando... ¿Cuántas veces a la semana va a la iglesia? Eh, Juan, solo una. Ah, yeah, yeah, but... but one, 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 one. Complete answer, uh, Eric. <laughs> I, I go to church. Solo el domingo. <laughs> uh, sería... I, I go to church. I go to church. Puede decir una vez a la semana, once a week or weekly. Yeah. Only Sunday. I I go once a Sunday. week. Okay. Only, uh, once a week, all right, I, or weekly, right, or every Sunday, as Abel said, right. Good. Only Sundays. You go. You go on, on Sunday, sorry. Uh, no. Only Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> lo voy a indeciso, Eric. No sé por qué tengo esa pista, esa pista de que no le creo mucho. No, que nunca va. <laughs> Estaba oh, en la iglesia, le <laughs> Sí, solo. Va, digamos, digamos que solo voy dos veces en el mes, porque. Solo eh, pasa por ahí. Dos, no, dos, dos domingos de los que tengo libre, los. Bueno, que en teoría debería tener libre los trabajos y solo tengo dos libres en el mes. Ah, Entonces, okay. pues sería tú, <laughs> tú, only. Ah, no, man, in that case, it's like every two weeks, cada dos semanas, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, Eric, I'm going to finish with you. I want you to read your question. Y vamos a responder el que comenzó a preguntar, como ha respondido. 
Ya Bye. sabemos quién es, man. José Mauricio. Ah, sí. <laughs> How many times are you in the cafeteria on the day? Repeat, repeat the question. Yeah. Yeah. How many times are you? How many times a year? The, in the cafeteria in the day. ¿Cuántos, cuántos días vas a la, cuántas veces vas a la cafetería en el día? Ah, ok. Yeah. Sería así, miren. How many times? Uh, ¿Cuántas veces vas a la cafetería? Ajá. En el día. Ah, how many times a day do you go to the cafeteria? La idea es... La acabo, de enviar al, le, la acabo de enviar al, al, al grupo, ok, al mensaje, I mean, al, al chat de Zoom. How many times a day do you go to the cafeteria? Read that again. Léala de nuevo. Permítame que no me cayó el mensaje. En el chat general. No, no es en el WhatsApp, sí, es en el chat general de Zoom. Ah, Zoom. How many? Yeah, man. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. No WhatsApp. Uh, how many times uh, do... Uh, I do you go to the cafeteria? Cafeteria. Es difícil tal vez. Okay. <laughs> uh, sería, I go money eh, to the, eh, to, ay, como lo digo. <laughs> uh, dos veces. I, like go, a... I go to the cafeteria. I go to the cafeteria two times a day or twice a day. Two days a day. Okay, two times a day. All right. Or twice. Una sola palabra, right? Yes. Twice a day. All right. For coffee. Good. Hay alguien acá que no le gusta el café. A mí sí me gusta, pero me hace daño. <laughs> a mí. Yes. A mí no me gusta. Es necesario every day. Saca el módulo, por eso, Ya me perdió. Un adulto no más traga gasolina y café. Exactly, exactly, man. It's, it's, it's our food, it's, it's our gas, man. Uh, the, 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 the gasoline that we need every day. Yo ahorita estoy despierto porque me... me, me me he tomado como ocho tazas de café durante el día. ¿Qué? Rogado, no, ya. No, I, mean, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't live without coffee. Man. Yeah, and, Pero, and... ¿qué tan grandes son las tazas? ¿Pequeñas o demasiado grandes? Para que sean ocho. Pobres riñones. Ocho Pobre. tacitas de galón. <ríe> Espero tome suficiente agua, porque así como uno toma café, también tiene que tomar agua. Son talla roto tres, tres litros y medio. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> es que recuerden aquí San Miguel es una zona un poquito especial, you know, like you have to drink water a lot. Más de día. A lot. Bueno, Más, de noche igual. Oh. Exactly, exactly. So, Yo we must be drinking San water. Miguel. Uh, no me gustó el clima. <laughs> Nunca he ido a San Miguel. Solo, solo con isolación pasaba. Dice. Sí, salía solo en la noche. Bueno, para sí, la que dice. San Miguel es como que vayas a Nueva York. Para la que dice, para, para la que, dice que nunca ha venido a San Miguel, si quiere, no vaya. Si quiere experimentar el clima, eh, ¿cómo le digo? No, a mí, a mí me, da, me da alergia, hace que me dé gripe, así que por eso estoy bien en San Salvador. Lo sé, en un país caliente. Y Managua es peor la temperatura que San Miguel. Hombre, y, es, y eso que no hay Estoy bien en San Salvador. Ah, yo creo que es igual el clima de Santa Rosa. Yes, you're better. El... You're better in San Miguel. Ah, en en Santa, Lo... Santa Rosa es horrible igual. <ríe> sí, men, así que si quieren experimentar el calorcito en San Miguel, eh, es como meter la cabeza a un horno microondas, así, ponerlo a una buena temperatura. A la nice. Vaya en nice. noviembre al carnaval. <ríe> nice. No me vas, horrible. Especialmente al mediodía, si usted saca la cabeza por los vidrios del carro o del bus, 
bien rico siente cómo se le va tostando la cara. <laughs> no, but that's, that's, that's what happened. Listen up. By tomorrow, people, we're going to continue with these things. Uh, we're going to complete this specific. Let me see. Now, in this case, I'm not going to read that part. Vamos a terminar esta parte para mañana. Okay? Only tomorrow. Esto es básicamente alguna de las expresiones de tiempo que hemos estado discutiendo ahora. Ok. Pues aquí hay un par en el, en el manual. All right. And we got it there. How, how to do the time expressions. And here it says, listen. Write five questions you can ask a classmate about regular day uh, at his or her job. Use the questions to interview a classmate about his or her daily activities and the time for each. Bueno, ¿a qué se refiere con esto? Listen up. Acá simplemente me gustaría que llenaran esto, ¿ok? Para efectos de, y mañana vamos a leer. Acá simplemente es saber con qué regularidad nosotros hacemos una actividad. Esto es como si ustedes se lo estuvieran haciendo a un compañero, ¿ok? Como si le estuviesen preguntando a un compañero, ¿cómo así? Look. Like here. It says, five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. Example. Like. Did you take a shower every day? Look, like that. Another one. Okay, questions like this. Look, like this. Okay. Es simplemente para rellenar y usar las time expressions en las posibles respuestas. Mañana, okay, al principio de la clase vamos a leer esas preguntas y vamos a incluir unas time expressions en esas respuestas. Okay, good. If you have time, let's do it there, okay? And if you don't complete it there, so we're going to complete them in here, okay? Bueno. Si no las hacemos ahí, eh, digamos, durante el día, pues las vamos a venir a complementar acá, ok, en la clase. O if you have any question, igual, si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda de poder avanzar, eh, simplemente me pueden escribir al grupo, right, cómo es ahí, y pues yo con gusto les voy a, a explicar y si hay algo que ustedes no comprendan, ok. Good. Para efectos de, como les digo, hagamos, let me see how many questions should we do here. They are, how many lines are there? Give me one second. We have one, two, three, four, five. Serían cinco preguntitas, ok? Solamente las preguntas. Algo corto. Así tal y como los ejemplos que acabo de escribir ahí, ok? The questions. Podemos usar how often, como el ejemplo de la presentación, y how many times. Y ahí podemos incluir en las respuestas pues las time expressions que mañana igual las vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Un poco más, al menos en esa, en esa, en esa parte, ¿ok? Por el momento entonces solo las preguntas quedarían a modo de tarea, ¿ok? And tomorrow we will continue with that y pues prácticamente eso sería parte de la clase, ¿ok? Y estaríamos dándole finalización y mañana iniciaríamos otro nuevo contenido, ¿ok? Before we go, people, antes que nos vayamos, do you have any question with this topic? ¿Tenemos alguna duda, alguna inquietud con relación a, esta, a este tema que hemos estado discutiendo esta noche? Las time expressions. ¿Hay algo que no haya quedado del todo claro con relación a las expresiones de tiempo? ¿Alguna que no comprendamos del todo? Something. It is time for you to ask me. Ver Isabel, Isabel. A ver, antes de que se me vaya a ir, usted le toca los 10 minutos de feedback esta noche, ¿ok? Ayer le tocaron a Alexandra, pero se suponía que Alexandra iba a ser ahora, pero usted se me fue antes. Se le fue la señal, creo yo. Yes, teacher. Ok, me lo imaginé. So, today is your turn, mister. Ok, okay people. Good. Eh, con relación a lo de la plataforma, listen. 
eh, ustedes pueden avanzar con las tareas de la semana. De eso no hay ningún problema. Recuerden, como lo mencionaba ayer, la plataforma es básicamente o está diseñada para que ustedes puedan practicar lo más que puedan los contenidos que acá se están enseñando, ya se enseñaron o se van a enseñar, ¿ok? Entonces, si ustedes tienen la disponibilidad, si ustedes tienen el tiempo de practicar y de poder hacer las actividades, las tareas de esta semana, si ustedes le entienden a los temas, no hay ningún problema, ustedes la pueden hacer, no se detengan, ¿ok? There's no problem in that case. Eh, la idea es que con la plataforma ustedes puedan practicar lo más que se pueda, ¿ok? Eso es como una guía de apoyo. No lo vean como, ah, es, la, es el, 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 el espacio que yo tengo para hacer la tarea. Solo entro y hago la tarea y luego pues, ya no, no la vuelvo a usar. No, en ese caso es para que ustedes puedan practicar el desarrollo de los contenidos que acá se dan. Es como un, una retroalimentación, por así decirlo, que ustedes tienen. Una autoevaluación. ¿Ok? That's pretty much uh, what we got there. Uh, asimismo... Espero, people, eh, espero de su, de su apoyo y puedan conectarse en las clases que faltan de esta semana. Okay, para los que me estaban preguntando de que si la otra semana vamos a tener clases. No, recuerden, la otra semana, pues prácticamente, eh, especialmente en San Salvador, es como de feria, ¿verdad? es feriado y todo. Y sí, no vamos a tener clase esa semana, por eso vamos a terminar hasta el viernes 26, si no me equivoco. Entonces, vamos a tener esta, clase, esta, esta semana de clase, culminamos el viernes, luego viene la semana de vacaciones y nos reincorporamos la segunda semana de uh, agosto. ¿okay? Entonces, más o menos así va a ser la situación. Entonces, uh, es solo para que vayan teniendo el conocimiento, ¿ok? De cómo lo Teacher, vamos a yes. Una cosita. Mañana me voy a conectar como oyente eh, mientras llego a la casa, porque es mi día largo. O sea, yo entro a las 8 de la mañana, salgo a las 7 de la noche y okay. casi es una hora de trayecto de, okay. de mi trabajo right. a la casa. Ok, no problema. Eh, teacher, de, yo igual, yo salgo a las 6 de la tarde, no siempre tengo el beneficio, ¿verdad? De salir a las 5 uh -huh. y creo que lo que resta de la semana sí voy a, a unirme como oyente y hasta que, hasta que esté en mi casa voy a conectar la cámara y voy a participar, obviamente, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, no problem. Igual, me lo recuerdan, por favor, en el, en el chat de Zoom para no sale preguntando a cada rato, ok, y decir, hey, no me contesta. Ah, está okay. dormida. All right. <risa> <risa> okay, okay. Sí, siempre es, vengo escuchando. A veces se nos va. Porque no lo van a ver así o así, ya. Ok, all right. Ajá. All right, no problem. Sí, ahí Thank nada you. más me lo recuerda, pues, para no decirle, hey, está dormida. Y va en el bus con todo, bien agarrado ahí. No, man. Ok, good. Now. Let's pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight, okay? Let's start. Abel Edenilson. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Alexandra Michel. Present. Okay, excellent. Vania Raquel. Present. Very good. Cristian Mauricio. Present. Okay, good. Eduard Armando. Ay, se conectó, creo, y nunca contestó. So. Uh, Eric Enrique. Ok, Eric Fernando. Ok, no here. Mm, let me see. Jose Mauricio. Present. Ok, good. Julissa Jamilet. Present. All right, nice. Carla Daniela. Present. Ok, nice. Uh, Kelly Joanna. Kelly Joanna. Okay, she's not here. Lea Berenice. Present. Okay, good. Liliana Alejandra. Present. Okay, Mario Eduardo. Present, teacher. Very good. Marvin Edenilson. Present. Ok, good. Let's move. Noé Vladimir. Present. Very nice. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Very good. Ruth Guadalupe. Present. Good. Verónica Lisset. Mm, 
príncipe y a Bechizos a listeners. Wilber Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Present, teacher. I am, it's there. Okay, good. Thank you for getting connected, people. I hope you have a wonderful night and tomorrow a wonderful day, okay? See you tomorrow, people, in the class. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Blessings, people. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, good night. All right, let's go. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to take her in the waiting room. Okay, good. Básicamente, estos 10 minutos, como eh, recordará del módulo anterior, y son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase y la clase que tuvimos ayer. Asimismo, con alguna duda que usted pueda tener con relación a la plataforma. Así que, I'm all ears. Soy todo bien. Okay, teacher. De esta clase solamente en el afirmativo statement de la estructura singular. Uh -huh. En eso me confundo todavía en el subject verb que lleva S, e, S y, y S. Ah, ok. Very good. Bueno, vamos a reforzar un poco entonces esa parte. Va, mire. En ese caso, cuando tenemos affirmative statements, en singular, Generalmente la estructura que llevamos es subject, ok, subject, uh -huh. plus verb, ya sea con s, es o ies, ok, plus okay. a complement, ok, check this out. Aquí básicamente lo que hacemos es, en la mayoría de verbos agregamos un, una s, ¿Ok? Específicamente al verbo, dependiendo igual qué tipo de verbo sea. Por ejemplo, si tenemos she eat, el verbo eat, simplemente le agregamos una S. Y luego podemos poner un pequeño complemento, a salad. She eats a salad. Para mí. Existen varias reglas en cuanto al desarrollo de los verbos en tercera persona. Uno de ellos es que dice, we add. Es to most verbs. Agregamos S a la mayoría de verbos. ¿Cuáles son? Por ejemplo, eat, decimos eat, drink, de tomar, drinks, take, de tomar, All right. algo con las manos, takes. You see, mm -hmm. so in that case, you got play, jugar, plays. Ok, good. Esa es la regla, eh, digamos que comúnmente nosotros conocemos, que a la gran mayoría de verbos le agregamos S. Vaya, miren, uh -huh. hay algunos casos especiales, como siempre. ¿Cuáles son esos casos especiales? Cuando el verbo termina en consonant plus Y. Cuando el verbo termina en consonante plus Y, más Y, ¿qué hacemos ahí? Mire, we eliminate. Y, eliminamos la Y y colocamos I y luego IS. ¿Ok? Entonces eliminamos la Y, colocamos I y luego agregamos ES. ¿En qué verbos los podemos hacer? Vaya, por ejemplo, en el verbo study, en el verbo estudiar. Si ve, termina en Y, pero antes de la Y va una consonante. Entonces, en tercera persona, este verbo básicamente va eliminarse la Y y a colocarse IES. Tal. Ok. Otro verbo. Try. Intentar. Try. ¿You see? Ok. Otro verbo. Por ejemplo, el verbo fly. Volar. Fly. Fly. ¿Algún ejemplo? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir Abel studies English. Abel estudia inglés. Uh -huh. Abel tries to speak English. Abel flies to another country. Ah, Abel vuela a otro país. Para mire, 
la mayoría de esos verbos que terminan en Y y antes de las lleva una consonante, se les agrega IES. ¿Ok? Siempre tenga okay. eso presente. Va, mire. ¿Qué sucede cuando el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de la lleva una vocal? Así como en el verbo play. Ah, en estos verbos, sí, pues no los complicamos. Simplemente agregamos la S y ahí está. ¿Ok? Entonces, la modificación, la modificación solo es en verbos con Y y antes de la Y que vaya una. Una consonante. Con Exacto. Okay. Vale. ¿Cuál es el otro eh, caso especial donde no agregamos solamente S? Va, por ejemplo, mire, cuando el verbo tiene estas terminaciones, double S, SH, TH, X, and O, ¿qué sucede cuando tiene estas terminaciones los verbos? Agregamos ES. ¿Ok? Solo cuando el verbo tiene esas terminaciones. Ejemplos. Con doble S tenemos el verbo mis. Mis significa extrañar. ¿Ok? Extrañar. Entonces podemos decir acá. Mises. Un ejemplo. Mises. Her mother. Ah, ella extraña a su mamá. ¿Ok? Ahora, uno con SH. ¿Conoce algún verbo que termine en SH? Watch. Vaya. Wash. De lavar. ¿Ok? De lavar. Wash. Ah, you see. En tercera persona sería washes. Watches. ¿Ok? Yo puedo decir, hey, Abel washes his car. Ah, Abel lava su carro. You see? Washes his car. Ahora con el verbo CH. Ah, podemos decir watch. Ver. ¿Ok? So, watches es la tercera forma de la persona. Tercera persona. Muy singular. So, an example. Ah, Abel watches TV. You see? Abel watches TV. Y ahí ya estamos usando un singular. Ya cuando hablo de, 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 de una sola persona, pues ya es singular. ¿Ok? Good. Another one. El último. Ah, cuando el verbo termine en O. Okay. Ayer estábamos mencionando que el verbo do, cuando le agregamos es, se convierte en das. Ahora, vamos a poner go. De ir. Ah, goes en tercera persona. You see? So we can say, Abel goes to sleep. Ah, Abel se va a dormir. You see? Ya va el verbo modificado. Entonces, esta es la forma en nosotros cómo podemos formular oraciones positivas, ¿ok? Usando los verbos ya modificados, ¿ok? Entonces, estas son como las, las, las reglas especiales o las excepciones que existen en tercera persona en singular. Entonces, si un verbo no termina en estas uh, letritas que tenemos acá al final, entonces no se le agrega ES. Si no termina en Y y antes de la lleva una consonante, entonces no se le agrega IES. Entonces, si tiene otra terminación que no sea estas, simplemente usted le va a agregar una S. Y eso es todo. Ok. Yes. Good. No sé si tenemos alguna otra duda con relación a, este, a esta parte. Eh, no, eh, esto solo sería en tercera persona cuando es hablamos correcto. de... Cuando hablo de mí, por ejemplo... Pues no, ahí no es yo... necesario. Ahí no es necesario. Uh -huh. O cuando hablamos de una segunda persona, si decimos you, ahí no es necesario la modificación del verbo. La modificación del verbo simplemente surge cuando tenemos... Cuando tenemos... He, she, it, o... Uh, singular... Noun. Esto de singular noun lo podemos poner como un nombre propio. Por ejemplo, Abel. Es un nombre singular. Entonces, en estos casos es que nosotros hacemos esa modificación. Ya para los demás, ya no. Simplemente ve el verbo en forma base. Ok, teacher. Estamos claros. Perfecto. I don't know if you have any 
extra question. No sé si tiene alguna duda adicional a ello. No, por el momento solamente es. No. Tenía la duda. Very good. Bueno, entonces espero que pues se haya despejado un poco la duda en cuanto al uso de eh, la S, E, S y I, E, S en esos verbos así. Sí, te he todo claro. Eh. Ok, there you go. Cool, Abel. Entonces, ¿algo más en los que pueda ayudarle, Abel? Por el momento solo eso. Ok, very good. Bueno, igual, más o menos, igual. Eh, eh, recuerde, si hay alguna pregunta, si hay algún inconveniente en cuanto al desarrollo de la clase y que usted no entienda algo, igual, siéntase libre de encender el micrófono y preguntarme, ¿ok? O decirme, teacher, no comprendo, por favor, vuelve a explicar esta parte. Yo con gusto lo voy a hacer, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Perfecto. Ok, perfect, mister. Entonces, así quedamos. Si no hay nada más que agregar, lo dejo descansar, ¿ok? See you tomorrow in the class. Ok, teacher. All right. Bye, okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, teacher.